What is up guys? Welcome back for another episode of Overuse Me. This seems to be becoming a fan favorite of sorts among my subscribers. A lot of people like this series. Uh, and if you do, make sure that you're using the Pokemon that we're using at the same time on the ladder uh, to make sure that our goal is accomplished by the end of this and we do get, uh, in this case, Hoopa up to OU. So basically what we're doing, uh, of course, once again, is using Hoopa on a team. I decided to pair it up with a couple of cool members and uh, let me just tell you guys, I wanted to test out this team a little bit on the ladder before I actually started recording. And I, w I told myself, I'll go until I lose a game. And I didn't lose any games. <laughs> and it's actually pretty insane. This team works really, really well uh, in conjunction with e with each other. Like, everything works perfectly. Um, so, basically, what we have here is a Stall Breaker Hoopa. I designed this set yeah, to take on Stall a little bit better. Uh, actually, the whole team takes on Stall very, very well. But specifically, Hoopa. Uh, I have Taunt on here for Chansey so that it absolutely cannot touch me at all. And it's forced to switch out. We have the uh, standard Shadow Ball and Psy Shock. Shadow Ball with the modest nature, actually mild nature. Uh, is able to uh, two hit KO uh, Mega Sableye, which is really powerful. That's insane when you think about it. It's it's not a guaranteed two hit KO, but it's a very very good chance. Uh, it's something like 75%. Uh, Psy Shock, of course, being able to two hit KO um, Calm Mind Clef, standard Calm Mind Clef, as well as three hit KO Chansey. And the reason I have Drain Punch on here is you guys can see we have a Focus Sash. Uh, what I'm planning to do is uh, against ABR Stall, which is the variant that carries Banded Weavile. I want to catch Weavile off guard. I wanted to think that it can just freely pursuit trap me uh, and completely break my sash and just get it over with. But then I surprised them by bringing out the Drain Punch, which also hits Titar and um, Bisharp very hard. But I'm able to knock out the Weavile. Uh, I lose my sash in the process, but I gain the Choice Band. So I'm able to fire off Drain Punches later on the team, and as you can see, we're at, we are a mild nature, so we don't have a minus attack nature, which means with the Choice Band, we're hitting somewhere near 375 attack, which is qu quite strong with Drain Punch when you think about it. Uh, also, if I switch into Rocks, and I want to reset my Sash against that Chansey if they want to stay in for whatever reason, I Taunt, and then I Drain Punch, and if my opponent thinks that they can switch out into Weavile freely, they're going to get Drain Punched and get destroyed, and I get to keep my Sash as a result, which is really cool. So that's the Hoopa set that we're using this week. What I really like about Hoopa, and you guys pretty much voted for it, it was uh, it was kind of a 50-50 down the middle, but Hoopa ultimately won, uh, just because I had a couple of people that told me they wanted to see Hoopa and didn't actually vote on the straw poll, uh, but what's really cool about Hoopa in comparison to Kingler is that Hoopa can run a lot of different sets, whereas Kingler was kind of bound to the same crab hammer knockoff shenanigans, uh, sometimes X Scissor, I guess you could run a superpower and rock slide and stuff like that, but none of that was really optimal with Kingler, whereas Hoopa, you can run specs and Scarf extremely well in this Pokemon because of its super high stats. You can run physical coverage as well as special coverage. It's a wall breaker. It's a stall breaker. It does so many different things. It's so nice. It's, it's very fun to use. So I'm going to have uh, fun over the next couple of weeks with this. Hopefully you guys will too. Uh, next up we have Mega Deancey, which actually pairs with Hoopa very nicely. Able to get rid of hazards uh, to keep that Focus Sash intact. This is not our only Focus Sash user, so Deancey actually comes in very handy for bouncing back hazards. Moonblast, Diamond Storm, Earth Power, and Protect standard coverage. Um, and uh, I mean it's just very nice for cleaning up the things that Hoopa can't. Outspeeds, defensive variants of Lando, uh, Zapdos, stuff like that. Again, things that Hoopa cannot because of this 239 speed. I need the modest nature to get those uh, kills that I was talking about before. Next up we have Magnezone to trap things like Ferrothorn, uh, Scizor. It's very nice in conjunction with Hoopa again, uh, able to take on the physical steel types that Hoopa cannot, especially Scizor because of the priority, uh, able to trap that and get rid of it. Uh, also put on Rotom Wash here to be able to deal with the likes of Lando and Excadrill, uh, very dangerous Pokemon to this team. As you can see, our first three Pokemon are extremely ground weak. I actually also decided to put uh, defensive Tangrowth on this team. Uh, because I was very weak to uh, physical attackers in general, fast physical attackers, such as Megalopony. So I wanted to make sure I had something that could check it reliably. Uh, and finally, we have a Sash Azelf here with Taunt, Stealth Rock, Skill Swap, because again, I want to beat Stall with this team. So I want to be able to Skill Swap uh, away Mega Sableye's... Um, Magic Bounce and be able to get up rocks. And finally, we have Explosion and Taunt. Taunt is nice uh, just for, um, for of course, uh, pro like any kind of status on lead or hazards. And Explosion is to be able to sack off a Zelf so that they can't get off a Defog or a Rapid Spin and be able to go out into the appropriate Pokemon afterwards. So, not a very fast team, but very, very uh, powerful. We have a Choice Scarf Magnezone. I didn't mention this. Uh, it is Choice Scarf, so that's like one of our fastest Pokemon outside of Azelf. So. Uh, gonna find a battle here. Hopefully we can have as good of a run as we did with 
the uh, the testing that I did before we started the live. So uh, we are five minutes deep. Wow, that was a very, very long explanation of the team. But like I said, I like to give you guys uh, an in-depth analysis on the team before I actually bust it out. So uh, my opponent has a Dug Trio, which is very, very threatening to us. Uh, kind of why I have Tangrowth, Rotom. You really have to make a couple of solid predictions with this team, I feel. But uh, I like uh, I like just leading Rotom here. If he leads Metacham, I can very easily go out into Hoopa on Metacham and just fire off a Shadow Ball. Uh, because that thing doesn't actually uh, touch me with any one of its... Well, it can hit me with its stab. Um, Zen headbutt, but it's resisted. Uh, so it'd have to hit me with an ice punch or something like that, and I'll make an appropriate switch after. Uh, we just want to dodge the fake out, basically. That's the important thing. So we'll lead off with... Uh, with our Rotom here, uh, Mega Metacham looking like a big threat, as well as the Doug Trio. Everything else I feel like we can handle decently well. Superior also looking a little bit annoying, so. He does lead with Tornadus. This gives me a an absolutely free Volt Switch right here. He's going to go for the knockoff, get a crit on turn one. Not a big deal. We are going to get this Volt Switch off. He does seem to be Assault Vested. And uh, I think that uh, probably Deancey is my best play here. I can just stay in regular, actually, is what I'm going to want to do, uh, because then I'll be able to take a hit from Duck Trio uh, and knock it out afterwards. So we're just going to stay in regular. We are going to Diamond Storm right here. He's probably going to be tempted to go into that Dougie. Uh, he could also go into Klefki. That wouldn't be a bad play at all, especially if it's Magnet Rise. Uh, first turn, I will Mega Evolve and Protect because I do not want Hazards up on my side at all. They're very detrimental, especially to Hoopa with its Sash. Uh, I want to keep that intact. Uh, be able to take a hit from Mega Metacham and fire back a, a Shadow Ball and knock it out. So that's going to be the plan. Uh, I think we are we are okay, uh, I believe. We should be all right. Uh, I think he could be Mega Blastoise as well now that I'm looking at it. I don't know. Could it be Banded Metacham or Scarf Metacham? Because he doesn't have a lot of speed outside of this Tornadus on his team. So maybe that could be what it is. We'll see here. Uh, my opponent chooses to go out into Klefki. Very good play. Able to resist the Diamond Storm. We are going to get the Defense Raise. That's not going to matter because this thing uh, doesn't get any physical um, Steel-type moves, so it doesn't make a big difference. Uh, like I said before, I'm just going to Mega Evolve and Protect right here. Uh, he actually does pull out a switch into Doug Trio, but we do have the plus defense right now, so we will be able to take the hit. Uh, and be able to hit him up with a Moon Blast right here. We are able to live, but we are going to lo lose our Deancey in the process, unfortunately. Uh, very, very bad situation for us right here. Uh, luckily, what we can do is uh, we can actually just get up rocks right here with his elf. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to just set up some stealth rocks. Uh, and Hoopa also functions as an amazing spin blocker. Like, most of the spin blockers um, in general are special attackers, such as Blastoise and Starmie and whatnot. So, especially in the higher tiers. So, it's, it's very nice to be able to switch in Hoopa, not fearing so much uh, Scald. Uh, from either one of those or anything like that. So my opponent's going to go for Stealth Rocks of his own. Very nice. And we are going to... Do we just switch out into Tangrowth? I want to keep a Zelf because it's still useful against the Superior. I can still explode on that thing. As well as the Blastoise should he want to uh, to try to spin on me. So I am just going to switch out. Losing uh, Deancey early, a little unfortunate. I probably should have just attacked. Uh, I did feel like he was going to switch out into Doug Trio, but I couldn't really make that prediction. Yeah. Anyway. Let's see how this plays out. We're going to start the timer on our opponent. He's taking quite a little bit of time. Make his plays. Um, Hazard should be here to stay in theory. Like I said, we do have a spin blocker. We also have two electric types that check his Blastoise relatively well. Uh, Duck Trio is going to go for the Stone Edge. That is going to miss. And uh, nothing he can really go for will hurt me too badly. So what I'm actually going to do is just go for a knockoff. If he wants to switch in his Tornadus, he will lose his Assault Vest as a result. And uh, he actually chooses to go for Memento. Okay, so cool play. Uh, we're going to go for knockoff, but that's not going to actually do anything, of course. Uh, I can see Superior coming in here, definitely. I don't know if Leaf Storm actually knocks out a Zelf from 88. We will have to find out somehow. I could actually just knock off the Serp as well, which wouldn't be a bad play. I kind of need Tangrowth around, though. I definitely need Tangrowth around. So what I'm going to do is just knock off on the first turn. If he's a uh, substitute, that could be bad. Yep, he is. All right. Uh, that's going to do a little bit of damage, not too much. We're going to go for Hidden Power Fire here. It will be able to knock out this sub guaranteed. That Leaf Storm is doing way too much. Uh, and he can just sub up again, which is a little bit scary. Uh, will my Hidden Power Fire take out his sub even now? Let's find out. Tangrowth. Uh, are you defensive versus... No, not this one. Where's the... Uh, I need the OU defensive set with Hidden Power Fire versus Superior, and I'm at minus two OU Subseed. 
Uh, yeah, no, that's not knocking out his sub at all. Um, so we're kind of in a bad spot here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into Magna Zone directly. Uh, because I don't have much of a need for Magna Zone, and I can flash cannon this thing twice. Uh, we are faster, of course, thanks to the Choice Scarf. We're faster by one point, actually, which is really nice. Uh, and he doesn't have a solid switch to this, regardless, so... Uh, I don't see him uh, doing anything other than just attacking. And if the Blastoise comes in, I'm gonna go directly into Hoopa, because I don't have a choice at this point. I gotta go into that. Um, I gotta keep my rocks up. I gotta make sure that Torn takes extra damage, uh, especially this Serp as well. Like, I can't have this Superior keep coming in on me, so... Yeah, very nice play from my opponent, doubling out into Doug Trio. Had I just attacked right there, we would have been fine. We would have had the plus defense on a regular Deancey, so we would have taken his Earthquake, no problem. Uh, and he would have basically lost his Doug Trio there to, uh, well, to rocks, because we would have ultimately get, gotten them up. But yeah, so, Superior, definitely looking like, looking like a threat. I have to flash cannon here, I do not have a choice. Again, if he goes into Blastoise, we're fine. But my opponent is taking quite some time to make his plays. Not kind, not the, not the kind of battle I wanted. Uh, he actually goes for Leech Seed. Okay, cool. So he and he misses, of course. Very unfortunate for him. But we will be able to just fire off flash cannons now. I don't know if he's gonna want to switch out into his Blastoise. It would be a decent play. Uh, but again, we do have the Hoopa, so it's not too bad. And the only thing that really threatens Hoopa, like immediately, is the, uh, I would say the Tornadus because of knockoff. He's gonna go for HP Fire. It is uh, boosted thanks to that plus two from Contrary. Leaf Storm, and we will just fire off another Flash Cannon. I was actually just sacking off Magnezone, and the fact that we get to keep it now is really cool because we will be able to come in on the Blastoise and just fire off Thunderbolts now, and they hit everything on my opponent's team, so that's very nice. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna wanna keep this Superior. It is uh, a leftover set, so it's not a terrible idea, but uh, now he doesn't have the memento on my uh, Tangrowth anymore, so he will not be able to uh, to soak up my hidden power fires. He actually chooses to go out into Klefki, and now he's trapped in here. I don't know if it was just to get up a uh, spike or two, but uh, I'm just going to keep flash cannoning here. And um, oh, I see what he's doing. He's, he wants to make sure Magnezone can't come back in. Well, Mag can still come back in, can it? Uh, 16 plus 6 is 22. Yeah, I can still come back in, even with two spikes in. So, that, that's okay. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. If he goes into Torn, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go directly into Rotom. Unfortunately, he knocked off our Leftovers turn one, so... He might also just U-turn, which would not be a bad play on his part. Um, I wish I had Cafagrius right now so that he wouldn't get Regenerator, but I do not. Uh, Rotom is a bad play because of the Serp. I think... I really want to go into Tangrowth right now. Do I need Tang for anything else? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. We're gonna go Tangrowth. Because, uh, he's... Okay, he actually goes for Heat Wave. Alright, interesting. Um, now I can freely go into Rotom. And we can just freely Volt Switch as well. So it's not too bad. Uh, alternatively, I could just go for a Will-O-Wisp. And that wouldn't be bad either, because his Serp would die to two. Unless he Leech Seeds us, in which case I can just Volt Switch out. Uh, I think... I think Will-O-Wisping is actually my play. Uh, as well, he can also go into the Metacham if he wants to U-turn. Uh, his last move should be Hurricane, in theory. He's shown three of his moves. Um, he might not want to allow me to Pain Split either. So he might want to U-turn into that Superior, which is kind of what I'm expecting. I'm, re I'm really expecting the Serp to come in here. It's unfortunate that I don't have anything faster than this Tornadus right now. That's the big issue. He might also just go for the... Uh, for the confusion with the hurricane. Um, but, like, that's... I have to keep Rotom around. I don't have a choice. I gotta keep Rotom around. Let's see what he U-turns out into. He does go into Serp, which means if we land this Will-O-Wisp, he will die to two rounds of this after the leftovers, which is very nice. Um, hold on. I have to think about this. Uh, I could go into Azelf. Azelf is okay. It's not bad at all. I don't take Spikes either. I'll only take his Leaf Storm. I gotta keep Rotom for his, uh, for his Torn, though. Absolutely. I don't have a choice. Uh, and Magnus only comes in one more time now. Yeah, I gotta go as Elf. I don't have a choice. I think we lose this one, because I don't have, uh, fast enough Pokemon on my side. Uh, but he's gonna die of the burn right there. He's probably just gonna go Torn, which is his best play. Uh, and again, that thing is Assault Vest, which is really annoying. And he's gonna go into it. Yep. 
and uh, I have to let Azelf go down here to his knockoff. Good news is uh, I can will o -Wisp now freely, or I can Pain Split. But I think will o -Wisping is my best play because I don't want his Metacham to come in for free. Uh, and if we weaken this, if we uh, burn this thing, then I think Hoopa might have a chance of living its knockoff. Uh, maybe not after spikes, no. But I think will o -Wisping is still my play. Because if he goes Blastoise, I can just Pain Split. And if he goes uh, Metacham, we cri uh, cripple that thing, and I can still keep my Rotom for this Tornadus. It shouldn't be able to knock me out with anything. He might just want to weaken me right now to make sure that I go down to the next knockoff after I come back in on rocks. He goes for a U-turn, okay. Uh, we don't have our leftovers anymore, and the fact that he crit us early on uh, is really hindering my Rotom switching it again. Let's see what he wants to do. Um, if he goes... Okay, he goes Blastoise, which is really nice for us. Uh, because not only do we get a, off a burn on this, but now I'm going to be able to paint split off all this damage. And should he go into... Okay, he doesn't go to Metacham, which is really nice. He's just going to go for a Mirror Coat on my paint split, which is awesome. Now I know that he's Mirror Coat, uh, which means I am just going to keep firing off Will-O-Wisps. Uh, and he won't be able to do anything about it. Uh, he's just going to keep going for Mirror Coat. That's fine. I think I just keep going for Wisp. Yep. As he goes for a rapid spin now, that's absolutely fine. Again, I don't need damage on the Torn. I just need to have Rotom healthy. Now, if this thing is Assault Vest, which it's not, it's Leftovers. Let's say it's Blastoise with, for some reason, max special defense. Uh, a kind of Calm Nature versus Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash. Let's just see this real quick. Rotom... Where are you? There you are. Uh, Volt Switch does 30 to 36. So I'm not confident about this. But I'm not sure that he would actually be max special defense. Uh, let's just say he's bold. Then we do 33 to 39, so it's more so a roll in our favor. Um, but either way, I think... I think switching out here is probably the best play. Like hard switching into Hoopa. Because that way he doesn't get to hit me with a mirror coat, and I got off a free Shadow Ball. And then Mag comes back in on his Metacham. If he doesn't have Bullet Punch, I'll be able to knock him out with... Well, I won't be able to knock him out with a Thunderbolt. That's the problem. I think I can't knock out his Metacham at this point. I think I have to dodge a, uh, a high jump kick. Well, you know what we could do? We could actually just go for a Hydro Pump here. Um, weaken him a little bit. As he goes for a roar, actually, and gets us into mag. Oh, that's what, not what I wanted to see. Damn, okay. All right, well, we'll go for Thunderbolt. We're already at 17 minutes. This is a 12-minute battle. Uh, we're going to knock out this Blastoise right here. He's probably just going to go into Tornadus. Actually, that would not be a good play on his part. Uh, because I can, one, pain split up on it, and two, fire off Will-O-Wisps. So that he can't bring in his Metacham. Uh, he's just going to go directly into Metacham. And I'm assuming he's just going to fake me out here. I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt. We'll see what he does. He does just go for fake out. Now, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Hoopa, with a minus defense nature, mild, uh, will instantly die to anything this thing throws out at me. Let's see, mild. Where are you, mild? Uh, this isn't even the right thing. Mild versus Metacham. <laughs> I don't even want to see this Galak. Uh, oh, 76 to... Hold up. Wait up. Okay, so it really depends on what his last coverage move is. So let's go into Hoopa. Uh, and I think we just throw off a Shadow Ball here. Honestly. Do we have another choice? I mean, I don't want to go for Psy Shock. It's not going to knock out Torn anyway, so we might as well go for Shadow Ball here. Um, yeah, that's, that's literally my only play. Uh, he does go for the Ice Punch. He is able to knock us out right there. So basically what I need to do is I need to play off of a Miss High Jump Kick right here. I don't have a choice. Uh, as he actually has Zen Headbutt as his last move. Okay, so that's GG. We do lose the first one. Uh, very unfortunate losing Deancey early on because that would have been able to take on Metacham as long as he didn't have Bullet Punch, which it didn't seem like he did. Metacham has to run a uh, Fighting Stab. It just doesn't make any sense if it doesn't. So we'll find another one here. Hopefully we'll be able to make this a quick live. Five minutes each. If we get stall, I can't promise anything. <laughs> Might be longer, but we'll try to... I don't know what it is about Hoopa teams, man. They always end up being really long lives. But uh, we got another one here, and <laughs> why do we get Torn and Metacham again? Come on. Uh, but actually, Deancey does a lot better against this team, especially that he doesn't have a Doug Trio, so we should be okay. 
Um, I think lead Tangrowth is good here, uh, as he leads off with his Heatran, actually, so not great. Definitely not great for us. Uh, I'm just gonna go in directly into Rotom, I don't care if he sets up hazards, it's fine. He's gonna go for Taunt, actually, okay, that's, that's alright. Um, I'm just gonna go for a Volt Switch, as he goes out into Torn, that's great. We are able to Volt Switch out on that thing, and Deancey is a pretty good answer to this. And uh, that's a free Diamond Storm, honestly. I get off a free Mega and a free Diamond Storm right here, so this is great. He goes into his Metacham directly to take the Diamond Storm. Takes that decently well. I can't say it took it amazing. Uh, but I am just going to go for the Protect right here as he does Mega Evolve. Let's see what he's got. He does go for the Bullet Punch directly. Awesome. Okay, so we know that's coming. Um, I think I just go hard into Tang Growth here. I, don't, I can't see him going for... Okay, never mind. He does just go straight for the High Jump Kick. Uh, but he's going to take Rocky Helmet damage as a result. And I'm going to switch directly into Hoopa, uh, hoping that he High Jump Kicks again. He goes for a Zen Headbutt and misses, unfortunately. Now, we know that Bullet Punch can't take us out. Uh, and I don't... I think he has Fake Out. I would assume that Fake Out is his last move. So I'm going to go for Shadow Ball, as he is going to switch out. Okay, so we did pressure that thing out. Uh, Shadow Ball is going to do over half to this Rotom, and we are going to be able to knock it out with the following one, as he chooses to go into Tornadus, uh, which takes 41%, and that is AV, by the way, guys. That did a lot of damage. Uh, I'm assuming a knockoff or a U-turn is coming out here, so I'm just going to go directly into Tangrowth, uh, be able to take either one. He does go for the U-turn, very easy. He's going to take a little bit of extra damage, which is nice. He's going to go directly into Heatran, and uh, I'm actually going to sleep powder this thing. Uh, as he doubles back into Metacham, which is nice. Alright, so we can put that thing to sleep. And he's going to forfeit. So we did make that one a very fast battle. Awesome. We're at 21 minutes. Uh, let's see if we can get one or two more wins. Uh, I'd be happy with one. It's just showcasing off the team, guys. It's just so you guys get a general idea of what kind of Hoopa set I'm using. As you can see, that Hoopa set completely walled his Metacham. Uh, as long as it couldn't uh, hit me with the, uh, the Bullet Punch, of course. So, Hoopa extremely threatening to a lot of Pokemon in the OU tier. Okay, so we got more so a team that I uh, <clears throat> that I built the team for. We have uh, a Ferrothorn, which is checked by, uh, well, countered completely, basically, by um, Magnezone. We have a Heatran, which is dealt with by Rotom. We have a Lopany, which Tangrowth deal was with. Uh, we basically have, like, an answer to pretty much everything on his team. I like leading off with Zelf here because I don't see a lot of good countermeasures. He does lead off with his Latias, which is nice. We are just gonna go for Stealth Rocks right here, be able to get them up turn one. If he goes, okay, he's Trick Choice Scarf, all right. Cool, cool. Uh, just gonna get up the rocks right here, uh, and I'm expecting a, uh, I'm expecting a Dragon move here. Uh, hmm. How would we scout here? I don't wanna go directly into Deancey in case he Surf. At the same time, I don't want to go directly into Hoopa because I don't want to take a Draco Meteor. I'm going to go into Deancey. I think it's my safer play. Uh, he does go for the Defog, actually. He's uh, he's Defog with Choice Scarf. Alrighty then. Uh, I'm going to double back into Magnezone here without even Mega Evolving. As he actually goes into Heatran, which is a good play. Uh, he does have a, a uh, Magnezone immunity, being, uh, but he can't switch out right now, so I'm just going to Volt Switch. Uh, he does have the Garchomp, but uh, we are going to get off this Volt Switch right here, which is going to be very nice. We're going to go back into a Zelf. We're going to just, I think, set up rocks again, uh, as that's probably what this Heatran is going to do as well. I sh probably should have stayed in with the Ancy and just gone for the Moon Blast, honestly, but he might be Scarf Tran. Now that I'm looking at the composition, uh, composition excuse me, of his team. Um, well, no, he was Scarf Lottie. There's no way he's running dual Scarfers. I mean, he could, but it's it's very unlikely. I'm just going to start the timer here. I'm assuming this is his Stealth Rocker, and potentially his Ferrothorn is a Spiker. That would make sense. We are Scarf Zone, so we will just go for the Volt Switch here, be able to get off 22%. That does look like a defensive variant, and I can safely go out into Hoopa here, as he's going to go for a Lava Plume. Please don't burn me. All right, cool. Uh, that did a lot of damage, considering we have a lot of Spadef, uh, so I'm kind of worried now, but I'm just going to go for a Shadow Ball. If he wants to go into Lopany, I do have a Tangrowth, so I'm not worried about that thing coming in, necessarily. I'm really curious to see what this Heatran's going to do to me. Uh, he might be fearing the Focus Blast, so he might go into uh, Lottie first, but he actually stays in just to take the uh, the Shadow Ball. Uh, he's going to bring us down to 16%, and do I want to just Taunt here? I, I think I want to Taunt. Um, or Rotom. Rotom's not a bad play. 
I still live rocks, so even if he gets them up, it's not a huge deal. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Rotom. Actually, guys, uh, as he actually pulls a double into Lopany, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna go hard into Tangrowth here, not even hesitating. And uh, then I think we can fire off a Sleep Powder, because the only thing that switches in on that is Ferrothorn, and we do have the HP Fire, so that's very nice. Uh, Tangrowth is extremely good for dealing with his Rotom. Um, I guess he predicted another Shadow Ball there. Had I gone for Drain Punch, that would have been so good. <laughs> We've gotten so much health back. Uh, he does just Mega Evolve, goes for the Fake Out, takes the Rocky Helmet damage, and we are going straight for a Sleep Powder as my opponent brings in his Latias, which is nice. We are going to go straight for the Knock Off here if he wants to switch out into uh, his Heatran. He's going to lose his item, so that's nice. Goes into Ferrothorn, that's also going to lose its item. Uh, Lopany is the only real safe, in quotation, switch to Tangrowth right now. Uh, but even that, like, it can't hit me, so this is fine. Uh, he does have our Focus Sash on Lottie, so uh, I'm just going to knock off the Ferrothorn's item. It was a Rocky Helmet, and now we are going to go for Hidden Power Fire as my opponent makes a nice play and doubles in a Heatran. Uh, I'm actually just going to go hard back into Rotom here. I don't want to stay in with my Tangrowth, there's no point. Uh, this thing checks Lopany way too well for me to lose it right here. I absolutely need to switch out. I guess he knew that I was an AV, which makes sense. Well, I went for Sleep Powder, so that, yes, that does make sense. He pivoted around this very nicely, so uh, nothing I can really do about that. I do expect just a Lava Plume to come out here. Uh, it's going to do a little bit of damage to Rotom, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's going to hurt, but uh, I don't really need Rotom that much this game. It's nice for Garchomp, that's about it. I mean, it deals with Ferrothorn, deals with uh, his own Rotom, deals with uh, Heatran well, but... That's, I mean, I have other things for those, so I'm not too worried. Let's see what my opponent wants to do. Uh, I'm actually just going to pause it, guys. Uh, never mind. <laughs> All right, so we do get the uh, the switch out into Rotom. He's going to go for a Lava Plume. He does not burn us, luckily, and I am just going to go for a... I think I'm just going to go for a Hydro Pump at this point, guys, as my opponent brings out his own Rotom. going to take 22% from that. Not bad at all. And what I'm going to do is Volt Switch on out of here. As he goes for a Thunderbolt, so he seems to be a little bit more offensive. Um, I like going into an Azelf here because his Latias is asleep. So even if he goes into that, uh, he knows we're Scarfed, obviously. But even if he goes into Latias, he still has to deal with staying asleep, potentially. So, um, And if he wants to get off the Defog, then he's just giving me free switches at that point. I'm just going to go hard into Deancey. And uh, Ferrothorn is the only thing that uh, Deancey can't really deal with. He's going to go into his Ferrothorn directly. I'm just going to go into Mag here. Uh, as if he wants to set up hazards, then okay, he goes for a Leech Seed. Um, I'm not going to stay in on a Protect, actually, guys. I'm going to go hard. I think... Yeah, I kind of want to go Hoopa to get a Drain Punch off. Or... You know what? Let's go Rotom. Let's go into Rotom. Uh, as he goes for Protect, that's nice. All right, cool. So he's not trapped anymore, clearly. Uh, but we're just going to go for a Volt Switch here. I don't lose anything by going for Volt Switch. Now that my rocks are up, this is really nice. His team is going to be hindered uh, very heavily. Uh, as he's going to allow me to just Volt Switch on him. I'm going to go into Tangrowth first to dodge the Leech Seed. Uh, as that is what he goes for. And now I'm going to double out into Mag because I don't lose anything. Even if he goes into Heatran, that's fine. He's going to go for Stealth Rock, so now we are not seeded. We are going to go for HP Fire and to hit KO this. Uh, even if he lands seeds, he needs to get a triple protect uh, to be able to live my HP Fire. So sorry I'm skipping turns, guys. But uh, my opponent's probably not getting out of this alive. So we're going to be able to knock out his Ferrothorn, which is very nice. He does get up rocks in the process, but I did say that Hoopa could still live rocks. So that's nice. Um, it's not faster than anything but the Rotom right now, uh, but his, okay, so he does get the double protect. Let's see if he can get the triple. He does not get it, and we are able to knock out his Ferrothorn as a result. Very nice. So now Heatran comes in, a little bit of a threat once again, and I think I'm just gonna go Azelf. Honestly, guys, I think I'm just gonna boom on something, because what else do I need Azelf for? Absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna go Azelf. Hopefully he doesn't burn us. He just goes for the plume. Uh, he does get the burn, but we are going to get off this explosion right here and be able to uh, hit something very heavily. This Heatran takes a nice chunk from that, 
as he goes for Lava Plume again, that's fine. I'm just going to go Mag now. Uh, Mag has served its purpose. It beat the Ferrothorn, so now we're just going to Volt Switch and knock out this Heatran, his final Steel type. And now Deancey has a little bit more fun. We do still have to watch out for the Lopening, but we, we kept our Tangrowth healthy, so we should be fine. And in fact, I think that uh, going Deancey here is probably the appropriate play, because Garchomp has to Earthquake. Um, it, he can't risk me going for Moonblast, really. Um, unless he's Scarfed. Could he be Scarfed? Let's just go for Protect. Let's see what he does as he goes for the Earthquake. Uh, I'm curious to know if you're Scarfed, so let's go into Rotom right here, and then, yeah, because Rotom doesn't do anything else. It's going to be Deancey and Tangrowth show right now. Yeah, that's what's going to beat everything on his team, is Deancey and Tangrowth. I don't need anything else. Uh, he might pull a double here, uh, but he can't really switch into anything, realistically. If he goes uh, Rotom, then my Tangrowth gets to Giga Drain. Uh, but we're going into Rotom, right? Okay, so, hold on. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Absolutely. This should be a win. As long as I don't choke anything, I should be good. And, uh, basically, if his Rotom gets a kill on something, because his Rotom is offensive, as we've seen, uh, from the Thunderbolt, um, if his Rotom does get a kill on something, then we are okay, I believe. Okay, so he goes for Earthquake again. He's not getting leftovers, so we know he's not that. Uh, he also had a Ferrothorn and a... Um, he had a Rocky Helmet Ferrothorn, right? Because we knocked that off. Uh, so I don't see this thing being a Tank Chomp. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, just going to Volt Switch here. As his Latias comes out, beautiful. We are going to get off a of Volt Switch right here. I don't believe this thing has burned a turn of sleep. So now I get off a f either a free Moonblast or I can play some mind games with Hoopa, but I'd much rather go out into Deancey and just fire off a Moonblast. I lose absolutely nothing. And again, as long as Rotom and Tangrowth are alive, his Scarf Chomp cannot beat me, nor can his Lopany. So, oh, I mean, Lopany can beat me with a Freeze, but that's about it. So we should be good to go. And Lopany also has to play some mind games with Deancey's Protects. So we, uh, I think we're okay. I think we're fine. Like, we designed this team pretty well around certain matchups like this. We do win the speed tie with Latias. We are able to knock it out. I'm assuming it was a speed tie. As Lopany is going to come in, I can freely protect right here. I lose absolutely nothing. He'll probably just go for the fake out. Yep. And now we get to go out into Tangrowth, which is going to take absolutely nothing from this. Uh, why is everything lagging? He's actually going to miss his high jump kick. That's very unfortunate. We would have been able to take that, but my opponent forfeits, of course. I probably would have done the same thing after missing something like that. I could have just switched out, though, realistically, into Hoopa afterwards. Because the only move that kills me after high jump kick is another high jump kick. Uh, so I could have just switched out into Hoopa. He would have had crash damage anyway. Anyway, I would have gone back into Tangrowth, uh, and he would have killed himself to, uh, to Rocky Helmet. So that's the way it plays out sometimes. Like, I hope you guys uh, did enjoy this team. It's a really cool team. I like it. We did get a loss, the first loss that I had with that team, by the way, uh, just so you guys know. If you want to look at the sets, if you want to use them yourselves, definitely uh, if you want to pick up this Hoopa set to use it on the ladder. Again, the objective of Overuse Me is to uh, get a Pokemon into OU. So uh, if you guys want to use this Hoopa set, be my guest. It's right there in front of you. Take it down. We got Deancey here, Magnazone, Rotom, Azelf, and finally this defensive Tangrowth that put in a lot of work. So that's going to be it, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.